With so many different hoists on the market, it can be difficult to find the right one for your application. And in this video, we're gonna break down Harrington's SEQ EQ hoist. Welcome back to the Lifting and Rigging channel. My name is Devin and today we're going to give you some information on the SEQ EQ electric chain hoist from Harrington. Joining me for this conversation is Eric Schenkel from Harrington and uh, Eric, thank you for joining me today. Thank you, Devin. I appreciate the opportunity to talk about our uh, SEQ EQ hoist. Now, just in case people didn't see our last video that we made on the NER three phase electric chain hoist, could you do me a favor again and just kind of unpack, you know, who you are and, you know, a little bit about Harrington before we get started. I've been with Harrington since 2016, so four years in the industry. Um, it's been a great transition from a completely different industry prior to that. Uh, I jumped into this industry because I wanted to learn something new from the ground up. And believe me, with the lifting and uh, rigging industry, uh, I learned something brand new every day. It's been a great experience for me. Uh, as for Harrington, uh, we're a 154 year old company. Uh, we're uh, located in Mannheim, Pennsylvania, and uh, we've been in the lifting industry ever since, and we go to market as being the industry leader for your lifting needs. Very cool, and, and I appreciate that you said it again, because the, the big takeaway for me, uh, because I really didn't know it, is that Harrington has been around for over 150 years. So when we talk about the products, their design, what they were you know designed to solve, there's 150 years plus of expertise that are going into these systems, which is you know why we're having this conversation with Eric, so we can highlight these products that maybe you have heard of, but maybe you don't know as much about. To get started, I wanna go into talking about what problem the SEQ EQ hoist uh, was designed to solve. We started with just the SEQ. So there's the SEQ and EQ, although they're the same hoist, they're two separate hoists because of the phasing. Uh, there was a need uh, in the market for a single phased hoist that had a variable frequency drive. So we developed one, uh, which is the SEQ. And then because of the, the style of the hoist and the robustness of the hoist, uh, we also decided to offer it in a three phase model as well, which is the EQ model. How much training is required for somebody to come on to the job site if they're relatively new and to know how to use these SEQ EQ hoists? Not a lot of training as far as the operation of the hoist itself. Rigging training uh, is a little bit different and takes some more time, uh, which is something that Mazzello uh, offers. Uh, as far as the operation of the hoist itself, pretty easy for end users. This is a great hoist because uh, of the VFD operation. It, it, it offers softer starts and stops, um, so it's easier for a newer person that, that uh, is starting out lifting um, rather than jostling the hoist to get that first initial pull off the ground. It's a much smoother operation. It doesn't require as many starts and stops. Uh, also, as you're moving the hoist, uh, it will not jog as much, so there's less load bound, so it's a much safer uh, application than a, an old school contactor hoist. What is the life cycle like in these you know, SEQ, EQ hoists? How long can they expect to have them around uh, working at the same capacities when they got it for the first time? Uh, we go to market and try to make sure our hoists are um, going to last over 10 years. Uh, this hoist is relatively new. We rolled it out in 2017. Uh, however, we do offer a five-year warranty on the brake, which we'll get into a little bit later, I'm guessing, when we talk about features and benefits. Uh, but we designed these hoists to last over 10 years. What are some of the best fit applications for these SEQ EQ hoists? Where, where do you see them working the best? And you know, where are places even where you know, they're not yet where they should be because they'd be doing great there? So we find these uh, hoists are great for production areas that speed is needed. Uh, one of the great features of this hoist is we have a no load high speed feature. So when the load is less than 30% of the rated capacity, uh, you gain an additional 30% of high speed. So perfect fit for workstations, uh, perfect fit for 
uh, production lines, applications like that, uh, where speed is critical. Um, we tell people if you have a jib crane, a gantry, or any type of enclosed track application, anything that is one ton and down, uh, these hoists are a great fit. Uh, these hoists uh, have capacity ranges from eight ton up to one ton. And so on the other side of that spectrum, you know, some, not everything works great everywhere. Sometimes, you know, saltwater environments can be caustic. Um, sometimes you have explosive environments that are kind of dangerous and require specific, um, you know, engineering. So there's no issues there. Are there places where these, you know, SEQ, EQ hoists aren't a great fit for specific applications? So even though these hoists, uh, we have placed them in a lot of industrial applications because they're IP55 rated, they, there are certain degrees of dust and water they can take. Uh, they're indoor and outdoor rated. Uh, the biggest limitation would be capacities. Anything over one ton, uh, we, we have to switch over to our NER hoist. But one ton and down, these are great fits. I want to go into the maintenance and repairability of these systems because, you know, over time, everything breaks down, it gets transported, you know, life happens to everything. So if somebody has one of these systems and they're starting to have issues with it, you know, what's the maintenance look like for them? What's the repairability look like for them? So as far as maintenance goes, uh, the first step is uh, every hoist we ship out comes with the owner's manual. Uh, depending on this, uh, the model of the hoist, the owner's manual will have listed uh, classifications of service. So first of all, you have to determine what type of classification you fall under. So under normal service, uh, which is operation with randomly distributed loads within the rated load limit, or uniform loads less than 65% of the rated load limit for more than 25% of the time. Those would be the categories that would fall under normal service. The next service level would be heavy service, which is operation within rated load limit, which exceeds normal service. So either over 65% of the rated load uh, for more than 25% of the time um, or uh, randomly distributed loads for over 25% of the time. And then the third category uh, to determine is severe service, which involves normal or heavy service with abnormal operating conditions such as weather, uh, such as um, uh, constant running, uh, things of that nature. So once you determine what service, uh, classification of service you fall under, then there are two different types of inspections. There's a frequent inspection, which is performed by an operator or other designated person at the facility. Um, for normal service, frequent inspections would have to happen monthly. For heavy service would be weekly to monthly. And then severe service would have to happen daily to weekly. And then the second type of inspection is a periodic inspection performed by a designated person. So uh, we partner with companies such as Mozilla, which provides a service. These type of inspections uh, for normal service have to occur at least yearly. And then heavy service have to occur semi-annually and severe service will be quarterly. Um, if a person needs some repairs done to the hoist, uh, they can either contact their service company, such as Mozilla, who is a repair center of ours, or they can contact us at Harrington if they're not sure who does repairs in the area. And then we can try to determine by the serial number who they purchased the hoist through, uh, which we would try to guide them to that person first. Uh, but if that company doesn't, re doesn't do repairs, we would put them in touch with a service repair center uh, locally in their area. Continuing that thought, as far as like parts and replacement, I mean, where does somebody go if there's something that they need to get a replacement on or if there's a part that they know they need? Do they just reach out to Harrington directly or they're a local rep like Mozilla? You know, where does somebody go if they need to get a replacement part? So yeah, that's a great question. Uh, as luck would have it, Mozilla happens to be a master parts distributor of Harrington's. So they can go directly to you and there's a list of parts that you guys already stock through us. If you do not stock them, you can still purchase them through us. However, the end user cannot. We sell only through distributors. I want to go into the other features and technologies. And this is really, I think, the meat and potatoes of this conversation because, you know, depending on what's in it, depending on how it works, I mean, that really might steer a person one way or the other. So if you could, just take some time to unpack some features and te technologies of the SEQ EQ hoist. Uh, so similar to our NER hoist, uh, which most customers are familiar with, 
Uh, our SEQ and EQ hoist uh, comes with a totally enclosed fan cooled motor. It is H4 classified and it's capable of up to 300 starts per hour. It does have a 30 minute motor rating. It is IP55 rated for indoor and outdoor use. Uh, in the SEQ uh, version, which is the single phase, uh, one of the cool features is that you can change the voltage in the field, which you typically cannot do uh, for other hoists. Uh, so you can switch between the 115 to 230 in the field. Um, another uh, similar feature that we have with the SEQ and the NER, there's a little symmetry going back and forth here, uh, is our one-piece cast iron designed for our chain guide. Uh, simply remove four bolts and the chain guide pops out and if you unhook the hook assembly you can simply reeve the, the new chain through, pop the um, cast iron chain guide back in and you're up and running. Uh, most other hoists you have to crack open the body of the hoist which can be a nightmare. Uh, we have grade A nickel plated chain uh, which allows shorter chain pitch which adds to additional strength but also because of that shorter pitch, it, the design of the pocket wheel is smaller. So it allows us to put deeper grooves into the pocket wheel and also provide an extra pocket for more surface contact, helping out with that, um, the, the additional strength. Our grade A nickel plated chain, or the plating is a patented process where we cold dip the chain. There's no electrification needed for the plating to adhere to the chain. And anytime you have electrification, uh, when it comes to plating, it, it makes the chain susceptible to hydrogen embrittlement. So our chain will be stronger than most of the competition. Uh, upper and lower limit switches are micro. Uh, they're inside uh, the body of the hoist, so less chance of them being damaged. And then for this hoist, we went back to our old school pull rotor brake, which is self-adjusting and it comes with a five-year warranty. Uh, all the EQ, SEQ hoists are UL508 rated and the overload limiter and thermal motor protections, they're all standard within the VFD. No additional parts uh, for the overload limiter or thermal motor protector, less parts to replace. With all of our hoists, we try to provide the lowest cost of ownership for the hoist in the field. So less repairs, less parts needed, and will outlast most of the competition. These conversations, I'd like to say, are a really solid starting point for you. So I know that you've mentioned before that there's some YouTube videos on Harrington's website and YouTube channel, but where else would you recommend that they go to learn more about some of these Harrington products? Uh, contact your local Harrington rep. Uh, there's an easy way to do that if you're not sure who they are. If you log on to our website and uh, you, uh, under the uh, salesperson or sales rep tab, you can punch in the first three digits of your zip code and it will give you all the contact information for your local Harrington rep. And so as always, I mean, if you need any help, you could always reach out to any of our lifting specialists at Mozilla and uh, they'd be happy to talk to you as well. So Eric, I do really appreciate your time uh, spending with me to, to talk about both systems, the NER three phase and then the SEQ EQ hoist. So thank you so much for your time today. Thank you, Devin. I appreciate the opportunity. For all of you at home that are watching, you know, if you're thinking about buying a new hoist or you're running into a new application and you're trying to figure out what works best, make sure that you either start looking at these resources, start reaching out to people that that can help you. And if you know somebody else, one of your peers or coworkers that's gonna do the same thing, make sure that you're sharing these videos with them so they have a better understanding of what is available to them so they're making those correct decisions. So for all of you that watched, we appreciate your time. On behalf of Mozilla, the Lifting and Rigging Channel in Harrington, thank you so much, we'll catch you next time.